Have you heard of the Bissell Zing lightweight canister vacuum for seniors and kids? I think that's what's inside this box. I'm super excited to show you. I'm Angela Brown and I get to help you navigate the world of house cleaning. And today I'm asked the question a lot. Hey Ange, what kind of vacuum would you recommend for seniors or people that have just had shoulder replacements and they can't push a big vacuum or they have other disabilities? Is there a vacuum that you recommend? What is inside this box? Is there, is there a vacuum inside here? It says Bissell on the box. I think there just might be. Let's check it out. And yes, da, 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 da. it looks like there is a vacuum. This is exciting. I've got some cardboard in there and I have a great big hose and I have some attachment pieces and a faceplate and a vacuum itself. What? What is this? This is the Bissell Zing 2156A. It is a lightweight bagless canister vacuum and it looks like this. Oh, that is a beauty. Look at those great big wheels. Ah, that's awesome. That's gonna wheel all over the house. And it's got a step plate so you can turn it on and off from your chair. And that is just fantastic. Wow, that's gonna wheel wherever you want that to go. Alrighty, and if I see from the back, there are two pedals. One is for the cord, and that is a retractable cord. So when you're ready to roll that back up, you just step on the other button. That rolls up your cord automatically, so you do not have to do it by hand. So it's got this great big suction cup, which is a bagless vacuum so that there are no bags to replace. To lift it off, you just push one button, and then you have the entire cyclone that can just be dumped out with one button. All the stuff comes right out just like that into the garbage can. And then to close it, you just snap it back in place. That's it. When you're ready to empty it, boom, one button, it all comes out. And to close it, it snaps back just like that. And then you just snap it back into the unit itself. All right. And the face plate. This is also known as a beater bar. And this is made of a heavy plastic resin, which is about, is a little bigger than the size of my hand. And it has a step there that will go on, uh, that will raise up or down for carpet or hardwood floors. And it connects to this flexible hose. This hose connects to the front of the vacuum and then the other end connects to an extender piece. These are lightweight bars and there's a large end and a small end and they just snap in place like that. You just twist them so that they stay on together. And that fits right on the edge of the hose itself. And you just twist it in place. And then on the other end, there, this is the end that goes in the vacuum. It has two buttons on the side. And if you pinch those in, you just match those up with the little levers there. You just snap it in place and then give it a little tug to make sure that it's nice and secure. And now you can either just use your hose with your vacuum, or you can put that on the attachments and you can also put it to the faceplate. So it can be a regular vacuum or you can use it as using it with attachments. So this is the, um, the owner's manual. And inside here, there are a couple of attachments that come with this. There is a crevice tool and that is really great for the areas that go along the edge of your baseboards where the carpet meets the wall. You can use that for the area like between the, the console in your car. And then this little attachment here is a brush. It's gonna brush up upholstery or pillows. You can use it for blinds or baseboards. It's just gonna suck up dog and cat hair and dust and crumbs. That'll go right underneath the kitchen cabinet as well. There is a owner's manual here. And I do recommend that you read it from cover to cover. The part that you read in English is only a page. And then it's got a couple of different languages here where it's going to answer all of your questions about the limited warranty that it does have. But I do recommend uh, because when you turn in a warranty claim, they're going to ask you for the serial number. And I recommend that you write it up here in the top uh, right hand corner. And then um, while all of the packaging is out before you go anywhere, just write it down and then you'll have it. All right. So how big is the vacuum? It's actually about the size of my blender cup, which is two quarts. So that's about eight cups. So eight cups of liquid for the blender, eight cups of dust for the canister on the vacuum. So they're about the same size. 
and uh, that just gives it a, a good scope of how big it is. So what does it do? Well, it does get in all the nooks and crannies and crevices of your uh, furniture and your carpets. This, we're inside the um, sofa, and this little area here where all these buttons are collects a lot of dog and cat hair. And so using that crevice tool brush, we can brush the pillows, we can brush the upholstery. That's just gonna scoop everything right up inside the vacuum. And that's a really great way to do that. Now I can add the face plate on here and I can get underneath the uh, sofas and the chairs. Um, it's gonna go in hard to reach areas. I do recommend if there are any throws like there is on the sofa that you pull that up just so that you don't vacuum them up and get, get them caught in the face plate itself because um, you don't want to vacuum that up. Now I did pull off the face plate head here and I'm just using the hose attachment to get any little dead bugs or cobwebs that are around the edges of the feet of this furniture. But then it just pops right back on and then you can go underneath the furniture. You can get all the way underneath there. Uh, the usage, how often should you use it? Well, that's a great question and the answer is based on your lifestyle. You might need to use it just uh, once a week. You might need to use it twice a day. It's gonna depend on how much furry friends you have in your house and how, much, how many crumbs uh, how much hair, whatever. Now I did turn the sound on here so that you can hear how loud it is. It's the sound of a regular vacuum. And that's important to know because you don't wanna use this if there are people that are sleeping in the house. So if the kids are taking naps, you wanna make sure you wait until they're up. Is this a good gift? And the answer is yes it is because there are lots of vacuums on the market that are designed for children and they are toys. And the toys don't actually pick up any real crumbs and it doesn't give the kid a sense of success of actually making progress. So with this vacuum, this is actually the size of many of the toy vacuums on the market, but because this is a real vacuum, kids can see instant progress when picking up crumbs and pet hair, and then they feel a sense of success in being able to help mom around the house. And hey, look at me, mom, I'm cleaning, right? So they get to have a lot of fun while they're doing this. And it's also easy to use because it's so lightweight. So what is the power source? Now we talked about the retractable cord. The cool thing is even a five-year-old can do it. Look at that. So, so proud of herself. It is 120 volt and that goes in any regular outlet. And so you don't need any special plugs or a three-prong plug. It's just a two-prong plug. So that's great for use pretty much anywhere around the house. Now it does have nine amps and a regular vacuum is gonna have about 12. So this is pretty good power, but it's not super strong. It's just pretty good. All right, special feature, the retractable cord is one of those features, but so is this little button, which then allows for the brush to be sucked back into the vacuum if you're using carpet. And then it has a little, um, like, it's like a squeegee, if you will, a squeegee and a brush that pops out when you use that again. And you flip the button, boom, it pops out and it's great for hardwood floors. So hardwood floors or a carpet just with the flip of that switch that you can manage with your foot. And there's no beater bar or brush, so there's no hair or dental floss that's gonna get caught around that brush. There's nothing to clean out. It just gets sucked right into that little hole there and it goes right into the hose and that goes into the vacuum itself, which makes it super easy to clean up things like um, shredded paper, for example. We know shredded paper from, from your shredding machine will clog a lot of vacuums and it fills up the bags really quickly. And so if you've ever shredded paper in your house, old bills, taxes, what have you, there's a lot of stuff that will uh, fall out on the floor as you try to empty those units. And this is a great vacuum for tidying that up. And again, this is a really fun one for kids because they can see instant progress. And you can see that it's filling up that cylinder vacuum. Um, and you'll notice that, that the head of this keeps coming off in order to prevent that, you need to put a rubber band around one of the pieces and then slide the other end of the handle over the top of the rubber band so it creates a seal so that, that doesn't pop out because I think that's probably the only con of this unit is that the handle keeps popping out. But this is a really fun vacuum. It picks up stuff really quick. You see how quick that just zipped across the floor when I gave it a little tug and like I said, it's great for people that need the vacuum to move with them around the house without them lugging a big heavy vacuum if maybe they don't have the strength, which is great for seniors, like I said, who may have had a shoulder replacement or something. 
So what about the refills and replacements? We already talked about there are no bags to have to buy or replace, but there is an exhaust here at the back of the vacuum and it just has a sponge on it. So when that gets dirty, that can just be washed in the sink, which is super easy to do. Now, if you're gonna empty the vacuum, because you'll see we clogged this thing up with hair and dog hair and paper. And so now we're gonna empty it out in the trash. In a perfect world, it would be deep inside the trash. I'm trying to do this above the trash so that you can see it coming out. Poof, look at all that dust, that was horrible. Oh, and it's not coming out, it's now stuck. And I wanna just pull on the bottom of that to get that out and it's not coming. And I don't wanna stick my fingers up in there. Um, if I close that, I can unscrew it. And then if I'm careful, I won't drop all that on the floor. I can just empty it out like that. Yes, that was my option number two. And while I've got my hands all messy now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. I'm gonna show you how this works. And then that would just plug in back like that. We're gonna go wash our hands in just a minute and I'll, I'll wash this out and show you how that works. At the back of this is a tongue and groove and the tongue and groove fits with the head. So the head slides right on the back of the unit itself. So if you're taking your vacuum around the house and you're using the hose attachment, you've got the head right there with you so that it's not across the room when you need it. All right, now for the canister vacuum that just unscrews and then this filter unscrews again. There are three little grooves that fit inside those three grooves. And once you seat those in there, you just screw that one half turn and that locks it in place. And when you take off this filter, this filter separates the large pieces from the smaller pieces. And you just tap the filter and the cone into the garbage can and that releases the big and the small pieces. You just match up that triangle at the bottom, put that back inside the unit, give it a half turn and it's locked in place. And then when you put that on the canister, it locks in place after you seat that, give that another half turn and it's sealed. So now you're good to go. All right, now, how do you clean it? I know you guys were wondering, right? Okay, so we're going to wipe this down first, and then we're gonna take the canister in and we'll rinse that out in the sink. The first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the hose, and I'm just gonna check my seals, but while I'm checking them, I've got a damp microfiber cloth. You can put a disinfectant spray on your cloth if you like. This is just a damp cloth. We're just gonna wipe the dust on the outside of it. When I get to the end, I'm gonna unscrew the top, this attachment piece and the headpiece, they're just plastic. Those will go right in the wash. And so I'm going to wipe down the um, vacuum itself, the buttons, the outside. I'm gonna turn it over, wipe all the dust off the bottom. There's a wheel there at the top. I'm gonna dust that off. I'm gonna dust the bigger wheels to make sure that there are no dog or cat hair that's caught in the wheels so that those will run smoothly. And that's it, that's the unit. It's nice and clean, it's ready for the next use. Now I'm gonna take the other attachments and we're gonna go and wash those out in the sink. All right, now that we're at the sink, I'm just gonna use regular water. I've got a small OXO deep cleaning brush and I'm just gonna brush the bristles on the attachment and also the main face plate. And then I'm gonna rinse those out and that's gonna remove any hair or debris or anything that got caught in there and I will run the brush along that and also the squeegee and the little wheels that are on the face plate. Make sure that there's no dog or cat hair in there. We're gonna rinse that out. And because that's plastic, we can just let that um, rinse and then dry on a cloth. And I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. And as I open that up, um, all of this does come apart. And I do wanna just unscrew that so that uh, I can rinse this out. And you'll probably rinse the cone and the filters out maybe once a month. It's really gonna depend on how often you use your vacuum and how dirty it is. But you'll see that there's dirt water just pouring out of here from the, the dirt that we've picked up so far. All right, and then we're gonna run water through this uh, top piece. And the water runs all the way through, but that's gonna remove any dust, any um, hair, any dirt clobs. <laughs> and we're gonna rinse out the canister as well. Um, the part that my hand is touching, that seam, I am gonna use my OXO deep cleaning brush around the seam just to make sure that there's no dust that is caught or trapped on that seam because that's where it seals the vacuum. 
And if there's anything caught there, then it will create an air pocket. And then when I go to vacuum, the vacuum seal will not be tight. Who is it for? Well, again, we decided that this is for anybody who wants to be able to use a vacuum that has all different capabilities, all different sizes. It's great for kids, it's great for seniors. Um, this is a, a fun unit because this is jazzy and she's in her special chair and she gets to help mom clean the house and she's so proud of herself. Her vacuum wheels right along with her chair and so she gets to be mommy's big helper. And this is a great way to make her feel special and included in the family activities. And so um, I'm just really delighted that this product fills that need. And again, it is a, a great product for families that have special furry friends with lots of hair. So if you were thinking about getting it, this is a great time to do that. How heavy is it? It is small enough that even a five-year-old can carry it. It's less than eight pounds and will certainly fit inside your shopping cart. So if you were thinking about getting it for yourself, for a parent, for your child, this is a perfect opportunity. Uh, leave your comments and questions in the notes below. I would love to hear if you already have one, and I would love to hear if you're thinking about getting one, and if you do, how do you like it? Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.